The world of real estate can be unpredictable, but whether the market is hot or not, one thing is a given. If your house shows well, it will sell quickly and for top dollar. If potential buyers are walking in and getting a bad impression or no impression whatsoever, they'll walk out the door and that is a sales opportunity missed. Tony and Gary's house is not a bad house, but after over 70 showings, two full months on the market, and six really well attended open houses, it's obvious there's a problem. Now, it's listed at $469,000, and judging by the amount of traffic through the door, it's competitively priced, and this is a desirable neighborhood. So, what's the problem? Tony and Gary need some answers, and they need some answers quickly, because they bought another house, and if they don't sell this one, they're gonna be paying not one, but two mortgages. But that's why we're here, to turn this house from unsellable to sellable. Boys, dinner. We bought the house three years ago. We needed more space. We were a growing family. The boys were getting bigger. This afforded us almost 1,000 square feet more than we originally had at the old house. The reason that we're moving is a new subdivision means new houses. Everything is fresh, everything is new, and there's no neighborhood feeling that I grew up with, and that's what I really like. A little bit bigger property and the, the bigger trees, huge trees. It's been fun planting here, and yeah. you know we tried to start a few trees in the backyard, mm -hmm. but we killed them. We've had an opportunity to purchase on a street that we love. We decided to jump on it. We have to sell now because within six weeks we could be trying, you know, having to hold on to two mortgages. We can't understand why it hasn't sold. The house is beautiful. I have no more ideas. <laughs> This four bedroom family house. It's three years old, it's close to the town, the schools, the highway, and this makes it really popular with young families. However, the real estate market in this area has slowed recently. Houses are on the market longer, and buyers have more choice. Oh, nice so to me. meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, who's going to lead the way? I will. Okay. okay. We've got our living room first. It's nice and decluttered, which is great, which makes my job easier. It does have a good flow to it. I have to say, I wouldn't mind putting those sofas in a time capsule. <laughs> Sending them back where they came from. <laughs> anyway. I'll help you. <laughs> OK, well. But they've been barely used. Stylistically, they look like yeah. they've seen many a Sunday. So let's go through to the dining room. First thing I'd say about this is that, that cabinet is quite overpowering. I noticed it from way back there. I know, but I like it. It has a lot okay. of things behind the doors that mean a lot to me and I don't know where else to display them. I'm not asking you to put it on a bonfire or anything. Just maybe think about parting with it for the moment. Through here, nice clean kitchen. Why is there no table? Somehow or another, the table with a thick glass top got broken. There was no real push to go and buy a new one? No. 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 Wow, this is a great room. Lovely, it's got five windows. Beautiful, so much light, going straight onto the garden. I think we can do something with it, though. Next, we've got Ben's bedroom. He's a hockey fan. Yes. Large. We might tone down the hockey a little bit. This would be our ensuite bathroom. Great to have a shower and a bath, but it kind of lacks a bit of wow factor. It's the country cottage picture, it's the angel. We want to give it a feel of a high-end spa. Really push it to the next level. Okay. All right. This is our master bedroom. Uh-huh. It's a good size. Ooh, hello. I just love the cupboard. It's huge. But at the moment, it's not singing to me. I think it's lacking that extra something. I want this room to shine and look different to other master bedrooms down the street. I want to give it some va-va-voo. That'd be awesome. Now, I've had a tour. I think we should go and have a little natter downstairs. After you. Don't look so scared, Gary. OK. <laughs> Sentimentality is one thing, but keeping a ratty old sofa for over 20 years is another thing altogether. Unless we do some serious upgrading in this house, Tony and Gary's house are just going to merge into all these other ones, and it certainly won't be popping. I want to begin by saying that I appreciate the work you've done. You've decluttered, which is great, and it is so clean and tidy, especially important for viewings. It's been exhausting for two months of running around after my kids. You said you've had over 70 viewings. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is a huge amount. That is a very high volume of viewings and it hasn't sold. A lot of the furniture is aging the house. The sofas just look a little tatty, a little shabby. Right. We want to make it look new and modern and snazzy. 
The bare bones are here. I mean, the fact that you've got a big master bedroom, ensuite bathroom, walk-in closet, those are all good things. I just don't think at the moment it's standing out from the other houses that are for sale. When you live on a subdivision like this, you've got a lot of very similar houses, so there's not much to differentiate all of them. What we need to make this house do is shine, especially now, because the market, it's stagnating a bit. So your house has to be really special to go quickly, and that's what we want to happen. Sounds good. I'm certainly looking forward to it. OK. Well, that was easy. Tony and Gary have made some smart steps in preparing their home for sale. They've done a great job of cleaning and decluttering, but sometimes in a competitive market, that's just the beginning. I'm off to meet Ruth Quinn, their real estate agent now, who also is Tony's mum. Now, Ruth, Tony and Gary said that you've had almost 70 viewings. Yes. So there's got to be something that's not right about the house. I don't think there's any wow factor about the house. It's a little dated because of the furniture. So presumably you've talked to them about those two ancient couches in there. It's a joke to us that uh, Gary won't get rid of some of the furnishings that yeah. they acquired from us. He thinks furniture is just fine the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. So when you give your advice, they're just like, oh, that's mum being fussy, rather than the advice of a, a real yeah. estate agent. Yeah. Now, when I came in to the subdivision, I saw there's still quite a lot of building work going on. How does that affect the situation for this house? Well, it gives us a lot more competition. Mm -hmm. This house, I think it's a great house, but we need to make it pop. Mm -hmm. We need to make it stand out from the rest, mm -hmm. and I think it will go. You better go and make it pop, then. Oh, I change into my jeans now, do <laughs> I'm going to be helping. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the open house. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get a lot of people through the door. We should do. Fantastic. I look forward to it. Mm, me too. There's shabby chic, and then there is just plain shabby. I thought it was a good idea to bring Tony and Gary to this comparable house. It shows well, it's got wow factor, and it was a winner in this competitive market. I want to bring you to this house because it's in the neighbourhood. It is a bit bigger, but there's a lot of features that really show well. So come on through. Now, the kitchen... There's been some updating. It's not the basic kitchen. The owner's put this nice tiled backsplash on. It's very nice, really, it is. Oh, beautiful. Also, it's an eat-in kitchen. There's a kitchen table, so it just has a nice flow to it. So come through to the sitting room. The good thing about this room is the architectural details that have been added. Along the top here, they've also replaced the Builder Basic light fixture and put a chandelier in. That's nice. OK, come on. This is the master bedroom. It's a similar size to yours. Nice paint job, very neutral. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous wooden floors. The owner put in all the wooden floors himself. So the lesson from this house is basically taking Builder Basic and upgrading it a bit. It works. These it floors works. pop. They do pop. Can you do a popping sound? The work you've done to your house already is great. The decluttering is fantastic. But what we need to do is go that extra step and turn your house more from builder basic into sophisticated. And this is what the owner has done here. It really stands out. It's been successful in this case because this house sold in 22 days and the average for this area was 40 days. So that's half the time. Mm -hmm. And ours has been even longer. Yes. Now let's get out of here. Okay, come on then. To reach beyond Builder Basic at Tony and Gary's house, we're going to need to call in our very own builder, who is anything but basic. I was speaking to you earlier about how we want to turn your house from hmm to wow. Anthony is the man to do it, so take right. it away, Anthony. OK, it's pretty much the same house that you bought from the builder, right? You haven't upgraded it in any way. No, not at all. That is what we're going to do, is try to give you upgrades that will separate it from all the other houses that are on the street. Mm -hmm. So starting from upstairs, just neutralizing the colors, changing over the light fixtures. In the master bedroom, change the window dressings. And then we walk in closets, it's a nice big closet, but it just needs to be more functional. In the ensuite bathroom, we just need to make it a little bit more sophisticated. So we'll just upgrade the lighting, put a new frame around the mirror. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. In here, we're going to change the light fixture and put some paper shades in the skylights, because I'm sure they heat up yes. in this room, and yeah. you can't actually watch <laughs> the TV. And in the kitchen, also, we're going to hang some pendant lights over the sink and change your faucets just to upgrade it a little bit. 
That sounds like a lot of work. Well, we better get going <laughs> then. Anthony, I'll leave you to it. Okay. Come on, guys, I've got a job for you. Anthony, yeah. I'm here for my spa date. Oh, really? <laughs> You're a little early. I am a little early. Yeah. Snazzy mirror. Yeah, I just uh, finished staining uh, this wood and urethane in it, so I'm just installing the frame around the mirror now. Uh -huh. It's hot, isn't it? It is super hot. How much did that set you back? Um, Probably maybe $50, $60. Seriously? Yeah. Because I saw pretty much that same mirror in a shop, and it was like $220. I can believe that. Mm, $140 saving. Oh, it looks great too. And, oh. Over oh. here, this. You like? I do like. Um, this is just some MDF uh -huh. that I just added to the front of the shelves to make them look chunky, more luxurious looking. And the, the new pot light. Yeah. That's brand new, I just put that in. It gives it a very modern look, spa-like. Spa-like. But it looks like I'm gonna have to come back for my six o'clock facial, which I is a shame. Yes. You had your towel and everything. I You're did have like my towel. Totally ready. Look at that, the whole clan is at work. Oh, yes. So, what do you think of the room now? The cabinet's not here. It's huge. Yeah, it's, it's really, big. really big. It's pretty. Tony, so that's a thumbs up from you? Yeah, I think it's great. Makes the room look so much more elegant and spacious. What do you think about the other rooms? They're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. They're doing a lot of work in the master bedroom en suite. I think it's amazing the amount of work that's getting done up there. It's tons and tons and everybody's working so hard. It's awesome. It's awesome. Well, not long to go to the open house, so... We better get moving. Better get, better get moving. moving. Well, I better go and do something <laughs> useful. So, guys, what do you think? A bit amazing. It is amazing. The thing I like about downstairs, or actually the house generally now, is that it's kind of quite feminine. Yes. Whereas before, I think definitely the scales would tip to the more masculine side. I'd say so. Well, you know the saying, the house is the woman's and the garage is the man's. Yeah. That's his room. The rest of the house is mine. Yeah. And I go there when I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, to the garage. Yeah, quick, right. Double quick. <laughs> Oh, there you are in the walk-in closet. Yeah. His, hers. Yep. It's all very organized. And where are the dresses going? Right here. Brilliant. Because you get a full wall. Yeah. So this is where you put your shoes? No, actually, I'm building a big shoe rack right across the bottom. That's fantastic. Right? Yeah. Were they difficult to put up? No, actually. You get this whole system, and then you attach the top rail, and then all these tracks just hang off the top rail. And then you can just organize it however you want. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, I'll leave you to it. OK, thanks. Thank you. This custom closet is going to help give Tony and Gary's home a competitive edge, which can really help move a property in a slower market. This house, which is fresh on the market, has great bones, but its decor has been brought up to an elite level. The living room has a nice new trim and a great paint colour, but the contemporary furniture and updated decor gives this room the high-end finish that a shabby two-decades-old couch just can't provide. In the dining room, it's easy to focus on the chic furniture and decor when there's no bulky, sentimental furniture dominating the space. The kitchen is quite a bit smaller than Gary and Tony's, but every inch has purpose. There's no dead space in this kitchen. The granite countertops, the sunken sink, the breakfast bar, all these wonderful additions are the difference between uh, we'll see and must see. In a competitive real estate market, little details go a long way but enhancing every aspect of your home's decor will make it pop out in a crowd. So when it comes to finishing touches and decor, leave no stone unturned and you'll stone the competition. At Tony and Gary's house, the finishing touches are well underway. Tony and Gary have had over 70 private viewings through this house, and that is a lot of missed sales opportunities. But judging by the work going on, I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. These guys are phenomenal. They're like out of this world. 
Uh, maybe I could rent them at the next place. <laughs> I can't believe the change in my living room and dining room. It looks so sophisticated. It's beautiful. It's warm. I really feel that our, our home now has something special to offer. And now I know what the word pop means. I know what um, make it stand out means, make a difference from the other homes. I know what that means now. Tony and Gary's house's first impression was really falling flat, so we've dumped the old couches, warmed up the paint colour and added some lush new window dressings. Now this home's first impression reaches far beyond Builder Basics. In the dining room, everything but the lighting fixtures had to go. Now the bulky cabinet no longer dominates the space and the contemporary new dining set has taken the starring role. This colossal kitchen should have been a huge draw for prospective buyers, but all the dead space was a huge turn-off. We've hidden the ocean of tile with a cute little dining set and a nice new lighting fixture to create a lively and functional space. We've replaced the standard issue faucet with a higher quality piece. In the great room, this cut-rate lighting fixture just didn't cut it. This fixture matches the decor and adds a much-needed touch of elegance. The master bedroom was very neat and tidy, but the styling was decidedly no frills. A rich, warm paint colour and dramatic new lighting has created an alluring, luxurious room. The new window dressings are a perfect fit, and Anthony's custom walk-in closet is very impressive. The decor enhancement follows right through into the ensuite bathroom, where warm colours and new lighting fixtures have turned this room from economy prefab to high-end spa. In the boys' room, the hockey paraphernalia is gone, and this soft and inviting decor has maximised their potential. Tony and Gary's house always had great bones, but now it truly stands out from the suburban pack. The total cost for this job was $6,000, which may seem like a lot, but in a stagnant, competitive housing market, it takes a little extra investment to give a property an extra push. If you're trying to sell a home like this one, don't forget these crucial marketing tips. If you are selling a relatively new house, buyers are going to expect it to look brand spanking new on the inside, so old and tired furniture is a no-no. A simple and cost-effective way to turn your house from builder basic to sophisticated is to upgrade the lighting. Elegant light fixtures will make your house shine. If you have a walk-in closet, make the most of it. Customise the space and maximise the storage. After all, you can never have too many shoes, just not enough space to put them in. Well, the open house is just around the corner. This house has been updated, upgraded, and I think it's looking fab. But we'll just have to wait and see what potential buyers think. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Sitting room down here. Very, very nice. So what are your thoughts on the decor? Like it. Mm -hmm. Don't think we'd uh, have to paint. Very classy looking. Yeah, and this is great because you've got the two areas here. Mm -hmm. Good for entertaining. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Come on through to the eating kitchen. Very nice. It is nice. Lots of cover space. I like the lights. This is very nice. It's good size. Yeah, it's good size. Oh, this is great. So this is a really great family room. Oh, it's great for the kids. I know, really, oh, really yeah, lovely. And the ceiling's fabulous. It's very, 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 nice. very pretty. It's very spacious upstairs. So this would probably be your son's room. Oh, great. This is a good size room. Yeah. Very nice. And through here we have. Pretty fabulous master bedroom, I have to say. I like the, uh, the wooden blinds. Yeah, they're nice. It feels private, like you're stepping out of the house into your own sanctuary. It's nice. This is one of my favorites. Wait until you see <gasps> the walk-in oh, closet. And here is your own personal spa. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very, this is my room. This would be for me. Well, I like the shelving. Mm -hmm. That's nice, too. It's beautiful. I love the shelving. Very, very nice. Very spa-like. Great mirror. Yes. Classic. Should we go downstairs? Sure. So, have you been looking for quite a while? Yes, I currently own a semi-detached mm -hmm. up the street. So, how does this compare to other things you've seen? It's, it's calm. You walk in and, and the colours are neutral and subtle, and it just, it, it's very relaxing home. The master bedroom is almost like a retreat. So, you think this house stands out from the crowd? I think so. It's very well put together, and uh, it's definitely worth another look. Will you be bringing your wife back? My wife will definitely be by to see this home. The house is beautiful. It's pretty close to perfect. I would definitely buy this house because it's a newer house, great space, and everything's new. As soon as I walked in, I thought, what a great house. Brilliant. Beautiful house. Oh, thank you. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think this might be one of the most successful open houses we've had. Being a real estate agent, you've seen a lot of the houses in the neighborhood. Would you say 
In your opinion, this stands out from the crowd now? Above and beyond. Yes, everybody that came just thought it was wonderful. I don't think I'll have any problem having this moved really quickly. Not everyone likes to stand out in a crowd, but when you're selling your house in a competitive market, that's what you've got to do. Judging by some of the comments we got during the open house, this home is going to be remembered and for all the right reasons. Our transformations have turned it from average to outstanding and from unsellable to sellable. Changes are unbelievable. I never would have expected that all this work could have been done. I'm going to bring some ideas with me to the next place. I think people are just going to be in awe. It's a jewel now. It's a treasure amongst all these other homes. I think there might be some competition. Well, there was competition. Prospective buyers came out in droves immediately following the open house. In fact, Gary and Tony quickly received three registered offers and found themselves in the extremely fortunate position of accepting the highest bid. Reaching Beyond Builder Basics sold this property in 24 hours. What an incredible success.